Hi friends, today we are going to be going over the lobes of the brain and the different functions held within those lobes. First, let's get oriented to what we are looking at. We are looking at a brain from the side view. So this is anterior, so more towards our forehead, and this is posterior, more towards the back of our head. First up, we have our frontal lobe here. Our frontal lobe is mostly for voluntary movement. This is the main uh, responsibilities of the primary cortex and the precentral gyrus. It's also in charge of intellect, orientation, and it contains the Broca's area, which is mostly in the left hemisphere, which contains our speech, concentration, personality, temper, judgment, reasoning, and behavior, as well as self-awareness and executive functions. And of course, in here we have the prefrontal cortex within the frontal lobe that is our decision-making making area of our brain. Next, we have the parietal lobe here. The parietal lobe is associated with the sensation of touch, kinesthesia, vibration, and temperature. It also receives information from our ears, from hearing, from our vision, from sensory and motor, and it contains some memory. It also holds the meaning for objects and interpret interpretation of some language and words, also some spatial and visual perception. Next we have the temporal lobe here. This lobe is the primary auditory and olfaction processing center. So auditory being the things we hear and olfaction being the things that we smell. This lobe also has the Wiernix area, which is contained in the left hemisphere. The Wiernix area is in charge of understanding and producing mean meaningful speech. The rear of the temporal lobe here is what interprets emotions of others. Now back here we have the occipital lobe. The, the occipital, occipital lobe is the main visual information processing part of our brain. It, of course, accounts for colors, light, shapes, distance, and dimensions. Now these four lobes, those are the main lobes of the brain, and they have a partner side on the opposite side of the brain because we have a left and right side of the brain. There's a few more things I'm going to go over. The first of those two is going to be the cerebellum here. The cerebellum is subconscious skeletal movement and it's in charge of coordination, posture, and balance through those skeletal movements. Last but not least, we have the brain stem here. The brainstem is used for our basic functions like our heart rate, our respiratory rate, and our sleeping and eating. Luckily, our brain is an amazing organ and we do not have to think about most of these functions in the brain to make them happen. That is it for the lobes and the functions of the brain. If you want to learn more about the anatomy of the inside of the brain or of the cranial nerves, I'll link those videos down below. Please comment any questions you have in the comment section down below. I'll see you next time.